Andrew is an Old Testament lecturer at Moore Theological College in Sydney. And uh, Andrew, you are heading up what I think is potentially the most exciting initiative to come out of this conference. It's um, the one of the network, or the, well, the exciting initiative is these networks. And you're heading up the network of theological gurus. <laughs> uh, that's right, Dominic. We don't call ourselves gurus, but I know we <laughs> And you've, you're going to be meeting with people involved in theological education um, from all around the world across the Gafcon movement. So tell us um, tell us uh, what your aims are for this week. Our aims are to talk to one another, to listen to one another, as we've been doing for the last 10 years, mm-hmm. uh, and to consider how we can use the power of relationships that Gafcon offers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, to resource one another mm-hmm. in the task of theological education. Right. Now, how many people are going to be in your network group? Uh, there are about 50 of us. Mm-hmm. Right. And we come from about 20 theological colleges on every continent uh, and a few people involved in uh, other forms of theological education mm-hmm. as well. Right. And um, w- how do you think uh, you're going to be able to be helpful to each other? Um, well, first and foremost, it's wonderful to be in a room together mm-hmm. to deepen relationships, mm-hmm. to form new relationships. Because I guess you've read each other's academic papers before, but you've not <laughs> met each other before, or some of you won't have met each other before. Yeah, and not everyone... Uh, we're more into pastoring students mm-hmm. than uh, being academically impressive. Yep. I mean, obviously, uh, academics matter Mm -hmm. um, but we're about finding ways to produce the right sort of graduate Mm -hmm. that the churches need which is the same sort of person in every part of the world yeah Um, Yeah. you know somebody who loves the Lord Jesus uh, who is equipped to proclaim the gospel and defend the gospel and build up the church Mm. Uh, and so really our focus is not intellectual ideas our focus is people right yeah so what would you hope the ripples down the track of the initiative you're taking in theological education to be for, if you like, the rank and file Christian, you know, the every yeah, member Christian yeah. around the communion? Um, one of the big messages for me over the last 10 years of having conversations all around the world. Because you've been doing this for a while. I have, <laughs> yeah. I have, is that uh, theological education is not the businesses of the colleges in isolation, it is a partnership between the colleges and the churches. And without a strong partnership, uh, the task of education fails. Right. And so for what you call rank-and-file Anglicans... Mm. I don't think that was a very good word. (laughs) um, The take-home is um, be interested in knowing God better through the Scriptures. Right. uh, In training one another to be able to explain the Bible and the Gospel to one another, uh, to the world, the better equipped ordinary Christians are uh, to know and tell the gospel, mm-hmm. uh, the better the quality of students we come uh, get into the colleges, the better the ministers are that go out and then teach the people. There's a, mm. uh, a relationship that's yep. incredibly important. Great. Thanks very much for talking no to problem. us. No problem. Dr. Andrew Shee there from Moore Theological College in Sydney.